let's take a little deeper dive into the EQM heater now, because this is kind of where the new magic begins for drying. Equilibrium moisture is basically that moisture that dries a specific grain, rice, soybeans, corn, let's just take corn for example, to the desired result, like 14 and a half points. That means that that bin is at 14 and a half, and when you set this, you then let it go, and it dries the, the product in the grain bin to that desired deal. No more overages or underages at the elevator. You don't have to worry about getting docked. If you're using the EQM heater, this is gonna get you the right temperature. Now, the bonus with this, and we'll show you this in a separate video, is that we have software that goes on your iPad or your phone, and you can run this from your house, from the coffee shop, from wherever, to make sure that your grain is drying properly. All right, so a little bit in depth on just the heater itself, and then uh, we'll move on. But just the heater itself is that we're looking at a one to 10 degree temperature rise. All we're looking is to take out a certain portion of each time of the year in spring and fall that gets you that longer season like we're talking about. So we don't need 140 degrees. We only need that 10 degrees, which just all it does is knock that humidity down to something uh, that fits your EQM chart for your latitude. When the, the box senses the humidity, then it adds heat if you've got higher humidity or uh, it doesn't, it, does, it gives you maybe one or two degrees. Like in the winter time, if you have a colder temperatures but you have lower humidity, it's only gonna add the uh, heat to that that you need to make sure that that balance is still there. In this system then, what we're seeing is this constant evolution of data, which you haven't had before. If we go back to the set it and forget it unit over here, obviously you can turn it on, but like we mentioned before, you can over dry your grain with that and then end up getting dock points. Here, you don't have that problem. And yes, it's a little more money, but you don't have to worry about uh, letting it go and the extra power consumption that something like that could actually take while you're damaging your grain or taking it down in value. On top of all that, the history is also provided to you. So as you're cataloging data with these units, it's being uh, put into the software so you know the temperature and humidity of this particular location where this bin is and you also know the history of the fan running and the heater providing gas and, and burning so that you know what you're actually using. We've showed you how easy this is to mount but this can also be mounted on all of the other standard fans that any bin manufacturer provides. Uh, so you can, this, what's great about this package alone is you can put it on any of the ones with the standard steel square frame that we've been producing for decades that will allow this to uh, add heat and temperature in the same manner with the same controls and the apps that are provided with the whole system. We told you that you can get the fan for $24.99. Okay, so we're going to do a special offer and we're going to get you the fan the, the control box, all of the cables, everything to hang it, the brackets and everything, okay? And the standard heating combo package that, remember, is only 10 degrees, so you're not gonna overdry your grain too quickly. That's for $39.50, okay? On, but uh, it gets even better because of all the extra technology that we told you that we are putting inside this box, the EQM box, it's only $1,000 we're gonna be able to add the EQM heater. That gets you the app on your phone, or your iPad, get the data from the system, be able to tell what it's doing, get all of the history, and be able to dry your brain automatically. That's the big thing right there. Making sure you're making the maximum use of your drying time in season. So that's all from the shop. My name is Scott Risen. thanks for joining us. I really appreciate having you, and uh, good luck out there with the harvest.